As Cassini started to spin and tear apart in Saturn's frozen atmosphere, it had one final gift for us. The probe threw its thrusters into full power, burning up the last of its dwindling fuel supplies, and managed to keep its antennas pointed at Earth even as its components started to melt. CSIRO scientists at Canberra's Deep Space Communication Complex, who were responsible for tracking and controlling Cassini's last moments using a pair of huge dishes, say the probe managed to survive nearly a minute longer than anyone had predicted. As it melted, it sent back volumes of vital data on Saturn's atmospheric composition, from which scientists will make many new discoveries in the months and years ahead. The Moon Enceladus sets behind Saturn. This is one of the last images Cassini took, photo NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Caltech at 9.55 on Friday night, the wobbly green lines of the spacecraft's radio transmissions on screens in Canberra wavered and vanished. For a second there, it looked like the signal was coming back, then it disappeared as the spacecraft started to tumble, Operations Supervisor Richard Stevenson said. After it's finished, on our screens we just see empty spectrum. There's no spacecraft in it. The probe was shooting images all the way down. One of them captures the moon Enceladus setting behind Saturn's horizon, the last time Cassini would ever view the site of perhaps its greatest discovery, a salty ocean below the moon's surface containing compounds considered essential to life. An artist's impression of Cassini, photo NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Caltech it is now considered one of the most likely places in the solar system to search for life. Cassini's final photo shows the looming atmosphere of Saturn, towards which Cassini was hurtling at about 120,000 km per hour. A 2008 image of Saturn taken by Cassini, photo NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Caltech The gas giant's atmosphere is freezing, so the spacecraft did not burn. Instead within two minutes of entering the atmosphere friction tore the spacecraft's components apart and then melted them away. Many of the scientists at the Deep Space Communication Complex had spent their entire careers monitoring Cassini. Mr. Stevenson, 50, has spent his past 30 years there. This image of Saturn is one of the last images Cassini sent back. Photo NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Caltech on Friday I was showing a group of people around talking about Cassini's history, and I got a bit emotional, which is unlike me, he said. I was curious how I would feel when it finally went. But the technical side kicked in, and it was bloody exciting. After watching the signal go dark, and eating some specially baked Cassini carrot cake, Mr. Stevenson ended up getting home at midnight on Friday. Other team members were on deck until the early hours of the morning. He said it took him some hours to fall asleep, as the adrenaline continued to surge. On Monday, he will return to work, but Cassini will not. But as one fades away, and there have been many that have faded, Galileo, Magellan, on the horizon there are always new ones, Mr. Stevenson said. We have Mars 2020 coming up. The new proposed mission to Europa, the Europa Clipper. That's why I've been here for 30 years things never get old.